Hello, hello, beautiful friends. Cryptid Princess here, and welcome back to Sally Face. Chapter 4 has been released. Ah, the trial. I am ready to play it. Let's get into it. Ooh, I'm loving it. I'm already loving it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <gasps> Ooh, that's covered in blood. Ah. 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 Sal, what did you do? What happened? 3.33. That's usually when demons wake you up. I'm awake. I'm awake already. Exit? Yes. What? What is this? Who are you? Beezlebub? Who are you? I am. Lord Beezlebub. Whoa, really? So you're like the devil or something? No, it is a nickname. Bestowed upon me by my kin. Family can be rough. Indeed. Can I go into that room? Be right back. Can I go into that room? You've only just arrived. No, you may not pass through my doorway. Dot dot dot. You may first admire my art. Your art? Yes. In the dark, there are five. The fifth you mustn't see. Of the remaining four arts, you must gave up, gaze upon three. Once you have done so, report back to me. Alright, whatever you say, Edgar. It's Beezlebub. Lord Beezlebub! Okay, bubs. Okay, so out of- Fifth one you shouldn't see. Out of the four, you should see three. Okay. Uh, let's just start from one. Ooh, I already don't like- Oh god, Peary guys. There was a knock at the door and I could see again. I was me again. Suddenly it forced my hand and this freedom was revealed to be only an illusion. I was forced to watch everything, a prisoner in my own mind. I have done terrible things, unforgivable things. Yep, great. Great to know. Good to know. Mm. N... D? N... P? I don't know. Let's go into the second one. Is there anything else weird? D... something F. What's over here? Oh. They're sins. What have we done to deserve such agony? They were determined to devour us all. Nothing could stop them. The burning lights of the gods have faded. Their watchful eyes turned to hor horrified screams. And then everything was black. Okay. What's happening? I didn't set a timer. Son of a poop. Sorry, I have to set timers for myself so I know how long I'm actually recording. Okay. There we go. Um, door three. What's over here? Trap, trap and rot? Trapan rot? I was broken before he found me. Scattered and lost, then he looked upon my face and saw all of me at once. After being discarded by everyone else, after years of not being seen or heard, he saw me and we were in love. And everything was perfect. Until it fell apart again, now there is only pain. I am so sorry. I don't know what these mean. Am I supposed to be remembering these? Because I'm not going to remember these. Um, it's locked. Damn it. Okay. So I have- oh God. Okay, let's try this again then. I guess I was supposed to remember. Okay, there's N. There's N in that. I'm gonna write these down, because I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. And I'm someone who likes to write stuff down, so... That was one, two, three, okay. Uh, room two was... 
that weird thing and F. There's something in my eye. And then there's three. Which is weird wiggly thing and a thing. Okay. How do you unlock this? It's locked. Okay. Uh, N. Uh, hang on. That. That. No. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, peering eyes. They are filled with regret and sorrow. Their sins. They are in a lot of pain. Tra trap and rot. They are heartbroken. Can I go through the door now? Okay, once you go through that door, there is no going back. Thank you. What the- You're welcome? See ya, bubs. Okay, I guess I didn't have to unlock that door. I mean, I probably could've, but... I didn't. Turn- Turn on. Thank you. Oh, I don't like... What? Do I just have to go through and click them all? I don't like this. Okay. What the? Whoa, I got older. What just happened? What just happened? Huh, where's my cell phone? Whoa, why are you in a different place? When did you move? Where's my phone? I need my phone, guys. Who are you? Neil? Morning, Salio. What's happening? Hey, Neil. No pigtails today, huh? I don't think I've ever seen you with your hair down. I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> yeah. You feeling all right, man? You seem out of it. Nightmares keeping me up. Sorry to hear that. Could be stress. I have trouble sleeping when I'm stressed out, too. Anything you want to talk about? No, you're right. It's probably just stress. There's a fresh pot of coffee downstairs. You should have a cup. It'll do you good. I never start the day without my caffeine fix. Thanks. Maybe I will. Not a problem, Salio. Where's my phone? And who is Neil? Who is this man? I'm still looking- I don't want coffee! I want my phone! Where is it? Is it in the bathroom? Where am I? What's in the basement? Oh, Gizmo still exists. Hey, you fat cat. Dude, really? Where do you keep getting these stickers? How is he putting the stickers up by himself? Okay, I guess I'll get some coffee? That seems normal. I guess? I don't know. I don't know where I am. We were still a kid. It's so bright outside. Yeah, cause it's daytime, Sal. Okay, I guess I can't have coffee. So we're gonna go back into Sal's room and see if we can find his cell phone? I guess? I don't know. Let's go back down to the basement? This is really weird, guys. I don't know where- like, where we are or what happened. We just updated the lock and I'm not sure what Todd set the new code to. I don't know. Okay, t wait, Todd? So you're living with Todd? Some kid named Neil? What? Where's... Who... Sally, how old are you?
I don't know where your cell phone is. What's my inventory? I forgot what my inventory is. I don't even think I have an inventory. W T H M. Um, no. Ha! <laughs> my neighbor, t <laughs> my neighbor Totoro. That's cute. I don't know, Neil. Neil, do you know what the passcode is? I don't know who you are, man, but do you know what it is? Oh, have you seen- oh. I can't find it anywhere. Oh yeah, I found it outside last night on the porch. I didn't want to leave it there, so I brought it in. I almost forgot I had it. Thanks, I didn't realize I left it outside. No worries, happens to the best of us. Here you go, man. Where's Todd? He has class this morning. Oh, right. How goes the ghost hunting? Todd was saying that it's been pretty slow lately on that front. Slow? I wish. Or, I mean, yeah, slow. It's been slow. You boys are trying to keep me protected again, aren't you? It's sweet, but you know I can handle myself, right? Plus, I am two years older than y'all. No, I know. It's just that we- Yeah, yeah. Four friends made a pact five years ago, and I can respect the loyalty behind that. Actually, I think it's pretty dang cute. Heh. <laughs> Speaking of cute, I heard that- Oh! I'm stupid. I know who Neil is. Neil is Todd's boyfriend. I forgot. I forgot. I was like, who's Neil? But it's because there's a picture of him in- Um... I don't think it was the last chapter, I think it was chap- No, it was the last chapter. In the last chapter, it was a picture of Todd and Neil in his locker. And Sally was like, oh, that's Todd's boyfriend. And I was like, hell yeah. So, okay, this is Neil. That is- it makes sense now. Speaking of cute, I heard that lovely Ash was coming to town today. The lone wolf of the four horsemen returns. Are you excited? We're supposed to catch up this afternoon. So that's a no on the excitement then. No, I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know, feeling tired today. There's still coffee downstairs calling your name. Sally face, come get some. Uh, did you hear those strange noises? Um, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific, Mr. Sleepyhead. Last night, I thought I heard something like a weird siren. I didn't hear anything like that. Maybe Gizmo was up watching TV? No, it wasn't that. It was kind of like a... Never mind. Probably just the nightmares. Gosh, man, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. How's work going? Oh, shoot, work. I'm supposed to cover the morning shift today. Gotta run, Salio. Catch you later. I'm gonna snoop. I can't snoop. Also, I have my phone now. Oh my god, look at that. Reminds me of the old walkie-talkie days. Battery's dead, I have to charge it first. Okay, so I have to go downstairs and charge my phone now. That took t way too long for me to remember who Neil was. Like, embarrassingly long. Like, I should have just known. <laughs> I'll check back in a minute. Oh my gosh, I was like, who's Neil? When did he become a contestant here? Why can't I get any coffee? Um, yeah, Todd needs to give me that dang code. Got a GameCube. Nice. Uh, Yoshiba. Nice. <sighs> hey, Gizmo. You fat cat. I'm gonna go back out here. So what would the code to this- the shed be? Why is there a code even for the shed? Like, Todd, why- what is in there that's so dang mysterious? Okay, so I'm living with Todd and Neil. I guess. Is what I'm getting. What I'm gathering from this, pretty much. Which is pretty neat. Um. And I find it funny that we're still ghost hunting, you know? Larry! Looks like it's charged now. There's a new message from Larry. Eh. Are you awake? Am now, what's up? Something is wrong with Addison Apartments. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. It's, I know, I'm aware. Oh. Reply. Other than ghosts in creepy basement? I'm serious, I'm coming over. Give me a few mins. Okay, text me when you're ready. I am ready. <laughs> On the way now. God, texting language. I forgot about it. Yeah, okay, Larry, Larry. Dude, what? Episode 4, The Trial. Oh. A lot's happening right now. Hello. This all seems to be a dramatic change from your original story, Mr. Fisher. 
Isn't it true you had initially stated that you were not in contact with Larry Johnson? Yes. So you admit to lying in your original statements. Why does he have purple hair? Yes, I was in shock from what had happened and thought that the truth would be more harmful. That no one would believe me. I didn't know what else to do. And how can we trust anything you say now? How are we to decipher what is true and what is a lie? All I have left is the truth. It's important that people hear what I have to say. Whether they believe it or not, well, I hope for their sake they do. Is that a threat? It's a warning. Would you have us believe that there's still a killer on the loose in Knock Knockfell? That all the evidence presented today, the victim's blood on your clothes and skin, your fingerprints on the murder weapon, the security footage, the eyewitness accounts, that all of these things were some elaborate cover-up? Created by who? The county police department? Well... If it's alright with the court, I'd like to continue my testimony. It's important that the story be told chronologically in order to prevent details from being taken out of context. Well, more so than they already have been. I'll allow it. Please continue with your testimony, Mr. Fitcher, but realize we will expect an answers to these questions the prosecution has presented. Everything will be answered. Then proceed. Yo, Larry. I'm telling you, dude, something's seriously wrong. Did you see the demon again? No, I haven't seen it since you blasted it years ago. I even went through every inch of the building this morning with the Super Gear Boy and found nothing. All the ghosts have been missing for weeks. That is a little odd. Though, who's to say it's a bad thing? Maybe they were able to finally pass on. I don't know, ma'am. I've been getting this horrible feeling. Like something under my skin, crawling around, itching at the back of my skull. It's like the quiet before the storm or some shit. I can feel it. Huh. What? Deja vu. I've been getting that feeling too. Like everything is foggy and there's something there just beyond the fog, just waiting. Yes, exactly. Whatever it is, it's coming from the apartments. So you're gonna come check it out or what? Of course I will. Larry! Should we get Todd? He has class today. Oh, alright. I was hoping he'd have a new gadget or something. He has been working on something, but I don't think it's finished yet. The guitar mods are finally done, but Todd hasn't shown me how to use it yet, so best not to mess with it. Hopefully it works better than that box thingy he made last year. Yeah, I like to keep my guitar in one piece. Look at us! So are you all packed up? Knockfell Homes. Affordable homes in the beautiful hillside district. Oh, so are you packed up? Almost. I want to get the rest moved over this weekend. It'll be nice to finally get out of that basement. Cool. Todd said we could use the van too. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, so Larry is still living in the apartments, but he wants to move out. Uh, Sally is living with Todd and Neil, which is super cute, by the way. Like, hella cute. And we are getting to the- Hey, Sal? Yeah? What if everything is too broken to fix? Like, why are we the only ones doing anything about any of this? I think everyone else just chooses to ignore the fact that everything is so broken, you know? How can they? I don't get it. How are other people so happy? Why can't we be like that? Maybe it's because we actually give a shit, or maybe it's because we can't ignore how messed up things are around here. I guess. I don't know, dude. That's true. <laughs> I need to stop. I keep sniveling. Okay, but I'm gonna stop this episode here uh, before we get to the apartments, because I need to cut down on episodes, and I know Sally Face is really great, but I can't I can't do hour-long episodes because then it's just, you know, no one watches them. And it's a lot of recording on my part and then a lot of editing and it's just... The 15-minute episodes are doing beautifully for me personally. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, tap that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video, whatever I make. Stay beautiful, friends. Bye!